टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मटर्नल कार्डियक अरेस्ट एंड हाउ सी पी आर इज गिवन इन प्रेगनेंट वीमेन सो लेट से पेशेंट इज कोलास जस्ट आउटसाइड ओपीडी एज यू कैन सी दर इज नो रिस्पॉन्स टू शोल्डर टैप विच वॉज इन पेशेंट्स लैंग्वेज नो दे वर नो ब्रेथ साउंड ऑन फीलिंग सींग ऑल लिसनिंग एंड देर वॉज नो कैरोटेड पल्स विच वॉज फेल्ड फॉर फाइव सेकेंड्स अप टू अ मैक्सिम ऑफ टेन सेकेंड्स So now I have initiated maternal code blue, called for help, uh, documented the time of arrest, and this checklist should be used for documenting all the events. Started with the chest compressions, and at this point itself, we should arrange for a defibrillator or an automated external defibrillator. So as you can see now, help has arrived, and one person has started with airway management. So what are high quality chest compressions the patient should be on a firm backboard supine in position hands should be in the center of the chest you have to push hard and push fast that is at the rate of 100 beats per minute with a depth of at least 2 inches or 5 cm and allow the chest to recoil completely this is very important and you have to minimize all interruptions to chest compressions and this has to be performed with continuous left uterine displacement So now the airway management of this patient has started. Now what we do uh, first of all we do a head tilt and a chin lift so that there is no obstruction in the airway. We give 100% oxygen at more than 15 liters per minute and we perform bag and mask ventilation which can be given by a two-handed technique or a one-handed technique. So there should be no air leak and two rescue breaths of one second each are given after every 30 chest compressions. and there should be a visible chest rise for each rescue breath and you have to avoid over ventilation so this rate is very important 30 is to 2 so when we have multiple hands with us we can go for a two handed technique which is preferred over a one hand technique when we do not have so many people with us in turn please come take sample so now we have called another person to secure the iv line and this the same person will attach the monitors and take samples of this patient and one person has to also go and debrief the relatives about the cardiac arrest and probably preferably take a high risk consent so now 2 minutes have passed and there is still no pulse now defibrillator it is used just like in a non pregnant patient it passes minimal energy to the fetus so this is important it is safe in all stages of pregnancy the pads are placed anterolaterally and the lateral pad is placed under the breast tissue So, what are your shockable rhythms? VF and pulseless VT. You you will tell everyone to stay clear, deliver the shock, and resume CPR immediately after the shock. If it's a non-shockable rhythm, continue chest compressions, give drugs. So that is how your defibrillator is used. So now we've switched positions after two minutes of CPR. Now a word about left uterine displacement. This is very important because it uh, because it is for relief of aorto cable compression. so it must be maintained throughout the resuscitation again there is a one hand technique and a two hand technique uh historically you know a 30 degree lateral tilt was given in these patients but then it was seen that it leads to ineffective cpr inadequate relief from aorto cable compression and also it used to cause difficult access for airway and defibrillator placement so now that is not done so one handed technique is the push technique that is when the res- rescuer is to the right side of the patient or you can go for a two hand or a pull technique when the rescuer is to the left side of the patient so now our maternal response team has arrived and they will be doing a perimortem cesarean delivery or a resuscitative hysterectomy so what is a pmcd the main aim is to save the mother it is irrespective of fetal viability and it is done when the fetal height is above umbilicus or the period of gestation is more than 20 weeks should be done after 4 minutes of cpr if there is no return of spontaneous circulation and the baby should be out in 5 minutes so no consent is required for this and what is the technique it is done at the site of arrest patient should not be transported to the ot there is no painting or draping required you continue with the chest compressions and lud along with pmcd uh, the incision can be fan and steel or vertical and the baby is delivered and given to the neonatal resuscitation team and uterus is closed after that with continuous locking running sutures close the abdomen catheterize the patient if she is not catheterized and once the patient has survived then you can give antibiotics to take care of the infection 
and all you need for PMCD is one scalpel and two artery forceps. That is the minimum that you require. So now here the baby is being delivered and being handed over to the neonatal resuscitation team. Now at the same time, anesthetists have arrived for definitive airway management. So again, 100% oxygen has to be continued at more than 15 liters per minute. So it's a two attempts per technique. So you will try to intubate the patient twice. If that fails, then you will try to go for a supraglottic airway. Again, twice you will attempt it. If that also fails, then you will go for a bag and mask ventilation. And if that is inadequate, then you go for a cricothyroidotomy. So what is the rate? 8 to 10 breaths per minute are given irrespective of chest compressions. And it is monitored with capnography, minimize interruptions to chest compression. And the ETT diameter used is 6 to 7 mm. So now the pulse is being checked and the patient, the pulse has returned. And side by side she is being uh, uh, intubated. And now you can see a visible chest rise. So it's a successful intubation attempt. Now, once the patient survives, you can shift the patient to ICU for a secondary survey to assess the cause for uh, collapse. Or if she's still pregnant, you can either shift the patient to ICU or uh, shift her to OT for delivery. Thank you.